What's up guys, The Mexican Nerd here, and today's video is going to be on the bodyguards for the Apple iPad. I bought this because the cases for the Apple iPad I'm not too impressed with right now, and they're around $70. So, $70, $50. So I, I decided to pick one of these up because I got one of these for my iPhone, thanks to uh, iPhoneEnthusiast.com. I'll put the link in the bottom bar. And uh, they sent me over one to test out for the iPhone, and I really liked it, so... I'm buying it here for the iPad and I got it from bodyguards.com for $29.95 and um, I'm going to do an unboxing and show you guys what it has and then do an install. If I have enough time I'll try to do a, a review all in one video but we'll see, how, we'll see what happens. Alright so here we go. Inside we got two application solutions and the instructions and a squeegee card and in the box we got the two films which I can't get out, there we go and right here we have the front you can see by the home button right here, it's cut out and the back and the sides. And the sides are separate from the back. As you can see on here, the sides are separate pieces. And there's a bunch of sides all over the place. And here's a little diagram to show you what you got. The front, back, and sides. The bottom, let me see. Bottom, top. And yeah, here it is. It's really big. It's way bigger than the iPhones, of course. But it looks easier to install because it's just one big solid piece for the back, one big solid piece for the front, and then just little ones for the sides. So uh, I'm going to install it right now. I just cleaned my iPad. I got it right here on the side. So here we go. Alright guys, so here we are ready to install. The first step was to turn off your iPad. Uh, make sure it's completely off before you start installing and then the second step is to spray your fingertips move this away spray your fingertips with the solution and then begin to peel off the part you're going to use make sure you check the diagram to know which one you're pulling off and I'm pulling off the, the back piece and then I set to start spraying it right away to keep it from um, folding onto itself and getting stuck to itself. Here it is. So I'm gonna spray it up like crazy. It always says ne it's never uh, you can never use too much solution. So I'm gonna spray it up pretty good, and then. Here it goes onto the iPad. Oh, trying to move it into place. Isn't too easy. There it is. Off the bottom. <laughs> oh, that's pretty hard. Get the squeegee card. I'm off the frame here, and I put it in the middle. And you squeegee out from the center out. Just push out all the air bubbles. I'm getting air bubbles inside the Apple logo. I can't get out but after 24 hours you should get a lot of them out they should just like go away that's what it says on the instructions if you look at it from an angle you can see some of the bubbles that are still there just keep trying to get them all out get all the liquid out alright guys that's it for the back I'm gonna let this dry and then move to the next thing, the front or the sides or something like that. 
So, uh, yeah, let's switch to that now. Alright guys, so I let the back of the iPad dry overnight. And it fits pretty much perfect except for the Apple logo right here. Still a little bit bubbly, but as time goes on, it goes away. And the reason for that is because uh, the Apple logo is a little tiny bit lower than the aluminum part. So, uh, yeah, you get a little bit of bubbles inside of there, but hopefully they go away. And now I'm going to show you how to install this whole side piece right here. I'm not going to do um, all the sides in this video because it's going to take too long, so I'm just going to do one side. So here we go. Alright, so the first thing you got to do is spray your fingertips with the fluid. And then pull off the piece that you need. And it's good to spray it as you're pulling it off so it doesn't fold over on itself then you get the iPad, it's going to be a little hard get the piece you need flip it over and drop it on and you want to go about halfway over on this side, on the corners and make sure it's all lined up and again, you have to make sure your iPad's off when you do this so it doesn't get damaged. I'm trying to line it up over here in the corner. Let me see if I can turn off the light here. To reach to about there. And it goes all along the side to about halfway on the, cur on the curve over here. And that's basically how you install the sides and I'm just going to do the rest and then let it dry and then tomorrow I'll do the front. Alright guys, I just installed the front of the iPad and it's pretty much the same as the back. You just wet your fingers, then peel off the, the skin and then start spraying it up. And then just put it on the, on the iPad and then start squeegeeing out from the middle. But it was way harder. It was very, very hard to install the front. First of all, I had to make sure there was no lint on the screen and every like five seconds there would be a piece of lint. I went to different rooms of the house, even the bathroom which is supposed to be really low on lint and every five seconds you find like a little piece that flies off on the side or something and that was really hard to do um, and then squeegeeing out, squeegeeing out all the water it's getting into my dock and stuff and it was pretty hard to keep it out <sighs> but yeah it was really hard to do and then at the end it looks like this I tried wiping it down and everything and it just stays like this and uh, I'm gonna try to wait 24 hours for it to go away but it looks pretty bad right now and I don't think I'll have fun using it like this oh and I got a little piece of lint I, I tried really hard to keep it all out and I got a little piece right there in the corner and I'll do a review in a few weeks or a few few days but that's basically how you the unboxing and how you install it so I hope you guys like the video if you're not subscribe subscribe comment rate and I'll see you guys later